Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to cover how you can build your first AI image generation SaaS within under 17 minutes using no-code tools such as Bubble. So without further ado, let's get started. So just to cover some basic information. So this will be the model we'll be using called PhotoMaker style. So this is on replicate.com. So if you actually go on replicate, it's basically a tool where basically offer like a directory of AIs, right? For example, if you go to explore page, you can see all the AI models you can use to build your app. So this will be the one we're using. It's called the uh, photo maker. And yeah, so our end goal is just to have an app which you input an image and the prompt and then it will generate something like this. So we don't want to get too fancy about the prompt, the style, you can play around with that later. For example, you can choose different style, you can play around that later. So the goal of this video is just showing you how you can build your first no-code AI SaaS within under 17 minutes by using no-code. So yeah, without further ado, let me start the timer so I'll show you exactly how I do it, right? So click start. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, obviously you want to create a bubble app. So AI image, uh, photo, so something like that. You give whatever name you want. This doesn't really matter. So I create an app. So one thing to know is um, because we're going to utilize webhooks, so which is like a APAS sort of thing. Um, so therefore your app have to be on a, like a paid plan. But for demonstration purpose, I'm going to put on an agency plan. So I just want to show you how it looks, how it works, right? So what I first want to do is I want to enable these two settings. And also on the database, I want to create a, like a data type to store the image that AI are going to generate me, right? So for example, I created one called avatar and then I'll give it ID so I know where it's coming from. So I know which model uh, I'm triggering to create this avatar. And also, as you can see in the AI model, we need to have a prompt and also an image. So these are two compulsory stuff, right? A prompt and an image. So we're going to create a prompt is going to be a text field. This is going to determine what prompt we're going to pass through. And then we've got an image. So that will be an image. And also, I'll name this as input image. So this can differentiate with output. So output, we're going to be a text, which is going to be a photo URL that the AI model is going to return us, which we can, you know, identify like the result, right? So I have set it up. Um, this is the data type. So now what I want to do is obviously I'll go back to settings, enable on avatar. I want to go create a backend workflow. And before I actually do that, I will actually connect the app to the AI. Give me a sec. So. So if you're not familiar with API connector, you can just follow me. I will cover uh, like a basically like a longer video showing you how to do it. But right now, just for demonstration purpose, I'm just going to go fast with it. So basically on the AI, you have an API. What you can do is go on API, you click on HTTPS, and then you start copying the, um, basically the request, right? So this will be confusing, but Bubble introduced the element which you can import the code and it will turn it into the API code for you. But for me, I'm more comfortable to do it myself. So let me just show you how I do it myself, right? So I got my request and then on the headers, I got authorization. I got content type, paste that in. Authorization, that's gonna be my API key. So if I go to my node here, I already have my API key, which is here. So obviously I'm gonna change it later, but obviously let me just copy everything through. And the content type, application JSON. So make sure to check private so no one can access to your private keys. So in the body, you can see they already give us from the data field, you can copy straight from this column. Get it in here and get it in here. However, the thing is, obviously, we want the input image to be ourselves, right? So therefore, you know, user can upload their own image and generate AI uh, image of this, the character. So what we want to do in Bubble is you use this sort of thing. So it's called, you can name it whatever you want. 
so input image and also number outputs i want to put it one and the uh, prompt i want to make that dynamic as well so basically i can put whatever prompt i want prompt and also if i take a look at my note here um style we don't want to play around with style for now so that's fine um just for demonstration purpose so what else we're gonna put so and also webhooks so this part i'm gonna duplicate the page i'll show you but let me just copy it through so i know what to show you so webhooks so let me just copy this through i'll just format this so make sure this uh separate comma and then make sure everything looks good okay cool so we'll be using webhooks to make it work so let me explain to you how we set up webhook right so on the back end workflow you want to click new api workflow so i know this not makes sense but i just want to show you how you can i'll make explanation video later but let me quickly show you and then we're gonna detect get this so this will be our webhook so this essentially what webhook is so we're going to connect this api to the ai model so when we trigger a request to the ai when they have the output ready because take some time when they have the output ready we can detect it straight away and come get it back in our app so let me show you right prompt so let me just copy this prompt, right so so i'm going to be using an image myself so I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to just change this to a mail, right? And an input image, I already have the URL. So this is an image of me, hopefully. Yeah, that's right. Okay, put it in. And then let's see if I click initialize. Let's see. So this is detecting data. Hopefully this works. Give it a sec. It might take some time. Give it a sec. Uh, I'm gonna stop this. I'm not gonna make 17 minutes. Wait, hold on. Okay, let me put it back on because I just got the data back. So I have got my data. So this might look like a bunch of junk here, but this will make sense, right? So this will soon make sense. So uh, this basically shows that I have got the data back. The, right now, the AI worked. So if you can have a look, if you go to my dashboard, you can see recent run just then 33 seconds ago. If I click on the ID, you can see that's me. Oh, uh, that's image of me riding on dragon, but uh, that's not look like me, but whatever. But yeah, so let me just show you on the front end. Um, so I'll save this data and then I will trigger something. I will stop setting up the front end and just to show you. So on the index page, I'm not going to make anything fancy. I'll just get an input. This is for my prompt picture uploader button so I'm not gonna worry about the design but you get the point right so image so what we're gonna do is generate a prompt uh, input image all we're gonna do is create a new avatar. So we save a record. So forget about ID. First, we wanna have the input image and also the prompt. So prompt is gonna be this one. Image is gonna be picture uploaders input value. And then we're gonna trigger schedule. No, we're gonna trigger the API workflow. So input image, what we're gonna do is First, for the image, we're gonna do step ones input image prompt. We can use result or step ones prompt, and then we're gonna do a schedule API workflow on the back end. So, I'm gonna actually have to make it work, but let's give it a sec. So, in the back end workflow, what we should do is make do a sync, do a search for avatar. So because we saved the ID of the avatar, so we can 
use the request data ID. We can change the first item, and then we can get the output straight away from request data output. We want to take the first image, right? So this is how it works. So let me show you. So on the image, we're gonna show. Uh, obviously, once you keep developing the software, you can have more measure. But right now, I'm just want to show you how I uh, get back the result. So output. So I'm gonna do zoom, make it bigger, and then basically what I'm gonna do. Create new schedule API workflow. So basically, what to do? So on the front end, um, creating avatar. Replicate or trigger the replicate, and also I want to do another thing. I want to save the ID. So, therefore, basically, when we send the request to the AI on the back end, it can identify the ID. So, basically, they will identify the ID of the request and then give back the results and it will show on the front end. So, let me quickly show you, right? Hopefully, this works. If not, then hopefully, it does. Wait, give me a sec. I think I forgot the email of the. So because I'm on agency plan for this app, so you have password protection preview. Save. Okay, cool. All right, let's see whether it works. So I'll copy the prompt back. So let me, let me copy the prompt. Sorry, I can copy it straight from the data API side prompt. Okay, a male man, whatever. So, do some image of me. Let's see whether it works. So, upload image of me. Where is it? Okay, I'm on debugger. Give me a sec. So, let me stop blocking on that and then let me refresh that. Let's see what's wrong with here. Should be right. Let's see. All right. So mail. Mail star. I've got my picture. Give me a sec. All right, it's here. Click generate. Let's see. Okay, that's error. Off. Sorry, I forgot to put a HTTPS. So always remember on the second step, when you give the input image, you have to do something like HTTPS. So therefore they can identify it's a link. Like that. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, generate. All right, let's see my dashboard. Refresh. Okay, queued. So that means making a request to the AI. Let's refresh that. Starting. Have a look. is generating but let's check on the back end of the app we send it through okay we have sent this through just wait for that so i got my output here let's see whether it show on the front end boom it shows on the front end as well so essentially what it did is first i create a new avatar i call the ai and the ai return me id i save the id and then because the ai takes some time to generate once the image has been generated, we trigger the webhook. So basically, we identify the image has been generated. We find the avatar with ID, with the request ID, and then we populate the output data, which becomes a link. So you can see output is a link. So if you click open the link, it's me. Yeah, so that's how easy it is to just to build a AI app right now in this day and age with no code like 17 minutes obviously the front end looks bad but like you got what i mean you probably spent 30 minutes designing and just put the design up and then you know put this behind the paywall 
and most people don't understand, don't know this tool exists, and you can make it a good app if you know how to market. So that's the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions or like you want me like to do like a 30 minute breakdown of how to connect the APIs. I'm willing to do so, but obviously I just want to demonstrate the power of no code in this video. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end it here. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks so much.